half a day. My name is Lacey Francisco, and this is Foodie Call. I'm here with Ken St. Nicholas. Hey, Lacey, what's up? I'm so hungry. I'm ready to eat some food. We are here at the Westin Resort um, for the Taste of Hansik, which is like the award-winning um, buffet, Korean buffet, five years in a row, I think. And we have, we have uh, Chef Sean Jung here. Right. Hi, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Westin Resort Guam Taste Restaurant. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about what you have uh, different this year for Taste of Hansik that's different from the past years? Sure. So, um, you know, this is our fifth year, and every year we have uh, uh, visiting chefs from Korea. And this year we brought uh, another three visiting chefs. Uh, leading the team here is uh, Chef uh, Min Woo, and we have, uh, Hello, have Chef Min Guk and Chef uh, Han Seo. Um, the two uh, chefs has been here a couple of years back, and this will be his first year here. This is his first time uh, leading the team. So um, there's a lot of uh, different things that we did this year uh, based on some of the... Uh, comments that we got from uh, guests from the previous uh, uh, promotion. So one of the uh, stations that we have is a big bibimbap corner here that you see in the background here. I don't know if you can really see it. Mm -hmm. yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Yeah. We're going to roll down. Yeah. Actually, we can walk through. If sure. You are cool sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let's go. So a couple of things that we... Actually, I'll do it. So as you can see here, we have uh, the bibimbap corner here. Uh, you know, people can uh, curate their own uh, bibimbap station. We have uh, ten assorted meats, and um, you know, we have uh, three different sauces that they can make their own uh, bibimbap. And in the back, you know, for sunny side of eggs, we have fresh uh, live egg station there that they put a sunny side egg on top. And why is uh, you said that people were asking for this? Right? Is this a popular Korean dish on Guam? You know, when uh, the locals here, they go actually go to the Korean restaurants, they pretty much order the basic, like, kalbi, bulgogi, bibimbap, you know? So I guess this is one of their local favorites as well. And so bibimbap, what is it really? It's just like vegetables mixed together with an egg? And then it's it's just uh, basically, you know, having all the vegetables mixing with the uh, rice and with the egg and a couple of meats and then well, with the spicy sauce and mixing it all together. And they also have another style where they put in a, a hot pot, in a hot stone pot, and they, they serve it really uh, piping hot. It's almost like a fried rice that we do it on the spot. You can say like maybe like the Korean version of like a hot pot paella kind of thing uh, or something like that. Yeah. Cool, cool. yeah. And then also here we have a, a noodle station. It's a cold noodle station. That we, uh, it's a salmon noodle with a spicy sauce as well. You can add some uh, vegetables. Yeah. And today's chef, uh, he made uh, a really beautiful seafood uh, miso soup. This is, you know, it's different from a curry, our Japanese uh, miso soup. This one's full of uh, clams, uh, oh, wow. crab, and a lot of vegetables. You know, he was working on it uh, the night before. And this is the sweet pumpkin porridge, you know, made with the porridge. Uh, this is also a very uh, famous, popular um, uh, street food item in Korea. Uh, tapaki, you know, it's rice cakes and a uh, spicy sauce with fish cakes. And this is uh, the braised uh, spicy chicken. We have your bulgogi. You have your pork bulgogi with squid. And we have everyone's favorite, the you know, the kalbi. And over here we have like our our street food corner. Oh wow, this is uh, you've had this before though on your previous. Uh, maybe like uh, three, four years ago, we did like a small version. And we decided to put all like the, we started to bring it back. So, you know, some of the comments from the other the guests before was like, oh, when are you bringing back the street food corner? So we wanted to add some fried items. So we have like some fried oysters, fried squid. You know, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken was doing Korean fried chicken. So we want to show you guys the real Korean fried chicken here as well. And you know, like when you go to the Korean restaurants, you have like the kalbi and bulgogi, and they usually uh, give you the lettuce to wrap. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a station here with like eight different kind of wraps that you can wrap your, your meats in. So, you know, you have a variety of uh, all these uh, different leaves here. We have a, as you can see, we have like eight different kinds. You can get your bulgogi and you can try it. You can try it with uh, the different kind of samjangs. This is, this is like the, the Korean version of uh, uh, Dinansi. You know? This one's uh, di uh, like What's the... Inside? This samjang is uh, mixed with nuts. This is like a fusion samjang. It's like mixed with nuts, little mayo. This one is uh, 
it's like miso and chili, and this is just the chili paste. And uh, Korean food, is it traditionally very spicy? Oh, uh, yes. I mean, I know it is, but I'm just... You know, Koreans, they, they really like that balance of the, the spicy, the sweet, the savory, and, you know, and it, we still have our seafood on ice for all the seafood lovers. That's me. And we That's have a very sure. beautiful spread of our appetizers this year. One of the, the items that we really want to feature this year was the soy sauce marinated crab. It's a raw crab uh, marinated for three, four days. And it's, it's been soaking. In. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just raw. It's, it's like a pokey style uh, made with uh, soy sauce and uh, spices. And the best part about this crab is that Oops, they actually finished it, but um, they'll be bringing some out. We have the shells that come out with it, the head, and with the eggs in there, you actually mix the hot rice into the crab shell, and you put it together, and oh. you, oh, it's, it's really, really delicious. Thanks, thanks for the tip. I need that yeah, instruction. Okay. I guess we're going to have to wait for that. I yes. see their soy marinated shrimp there still that's, there. That's going to be the most popular item. So. I know. I've been eyeing it since I walked in. How about the desserts? Really? Are there some Korean desserts? That, uh, uh, we have one we're going to be doing live is the Korean uh, pancake. Mm -hmm. so. I know we're rushing through this, but it is so busy here. So crazy busy here. And we're squeezing through. So thank you for accommodating us, everybody. So it's a pancake and it has stuff with a uh, cinnamon, brown sugar, and it'll be sprayed with some maple syrup and some mascarpone. We added our own touch by adding some mascarpone cheese on top. So this is like a really hot filling inside so when you bite it you have the cinnamon the sugar just melting and coming out of the dough and it's, it's really delicious you guys should try that after so. yeah, that looks really good looks really good hey, if you're just joining us we're here at the west end for the taste of hansik a uh, special buffet it's only here until saturday the 12th right is yes, that correct yes. um and then i guess you guys also have a nice little contest going on now if you come to the buffet, you can do a mukbang like we're doing here today. And if you tag uh, Westing Guam, hashtag yeah. Westing Guam, and hashtag Taste of Hansik mukbang, yes. then you could get a chance to win a weekend getaway. Yeah, so the first, uh, first place winner will get a weekend getaway for two uh, in a suite room. Uh, the second place uh, winner will get um, um, a weekend getaway, which is the standard room, which is still good at, uh, oh, as well. So the best thing I think is, is no, because it's best on most likes, so... The sooner you come, the you know the better chance you have of getting more likes. So you know we recommend everyone to come earlier. So guys, I'm having a really stressful month. Definitely put in a lot of likes because you know we can we need to win that win that weekend sweet getaway. I, I don't need to know stay if this a counts. Heavenly bed for a week. Uh, you know, no, no, this counts, but help us out. Throw some uh, likes. There. Chef Jong, I wanted to ask you because mukbangs is kind of like this new phenomenon for for everyone, including at KOM. Is this is kind of a Korean thing, isn't it? Yeah, there's. Uh, you know, I, I was kind of like a new to it too. I just heard about it last year, and uh, you know, my wife was telling me about it, and I did some research, and I, there's just tons of people on on the internet now. Just you know, it's just basically people just eating in front of a camera, and um, you know, having people see them uh, or watching them eat. So that was something that we looked at and said, wow, maybe that's something that we can incorporate into our our team this year. So uh, we do have a couple people coming today who are going to be doing their own mukbang uh, live. So I'm very curious to see what kind of video they'll be presenting. Yeah. And you have a lot of people like who are, who are lining up. Um, is this always crazy busy? This is your home turf, by the way, right? Well, last year, uh, when we did the Korean promotion, we had um, over 200 people every single day. So uh, even the last day, we had about close to 275 packs. So there were times where people came in without a reservations and they couldn't get a table. So we, we highly recommend that people do make the reservations before they come. Because you don't want to get here and there's not a table. So uh, last year was very popular, and like I said, it's for three years ago. It's been very popular. So uh, we're going to be doing it every single year, and hopefully it's going to get bigger and bigger. So and then, I mean, this is lunch only. It's 11:30 yes. to two, right? Is it so? You know, definitely if you're 11:30 to 2:30. Oh, 2:30. 30. Yes. I have a lot of questions for you, Chef. I don't know if you need to leave, but Wom is very much influenced by Korean food, Korean. Um, we always have to have kimchi on our table. We have some sort of uh, cucumber salad variation. Our barbecue is even kind of evolving into that kind of sweet kalbi flavor. Is it kalbi or galbi, by the way? Uh, kalbi. Uh, in Korea, they call it kalbi. You know, in Korean style, we call it kalbi. And you know, with the 
influence of the Korean food going into the local culture. Local uh, food has even uh, eventually started making its way to um, uh, getting into like the way the local Koreans cook with the local ingredients here. Like some of the Koreans here, they cook with the local uh, warm chili peppers now. So you see some of the households like it's so spicy, and you know some Koreans really like it really spicy. And some of their marinations are actually changing into um, uh, some uh, local style marinations as well. You know, so it's going like interchanging. You know, I guess when two cultures. Uh, blended together, they start to have similarities together. It's kind of the best of both worlds, truly, yeah, yeah. for me. And yeah. hansik means, is that like traditional Korean food? Yes, it's like, uh, hansik just, is just basically you know, all Korean, basically Korean, so. Uh, hansik. Hansik. Hansik, yes. I'm really, really excited. So we're going to get going and start our mukbang. And thank you so much for inviting us. We did thank have a, a viewer um, comment. Oh yeah, Debbie Davis. Hafidei, Chef Jung, Ken, KOM, and all on Guam. Looks delicious. Love Korean food, so wish I was there. Is she off island? Yeah, she lives in Bartown, Kentucky. Oh, wow. So, you know, definitely tell the, your relatives that do live on Guam to come down here. The 12th is the last day. That's Saturday, right? I believe that's Saturday, and it's lunch only. So 11.30 to 2.30. And, you know, hey, come down here. Do your own mukbang, just like how Lacey and I are doing it, and you could possibly win a weekend getaway here at the uh, Westin on the Heavenly Beds. So I'm really all about that. I'm really like, I'm, I'm hoping one of my family members comes down here, does a mukbang and we win because I would love to stay on the, the bed. And hook, really nice. hook them up. All right, thank you so much, Chef, man. Well, thank you guys for coming. Feel free to enjoy your meal. Yeah. Thank you so much. Drop back in when as we're eating. Please feel free to check okay. us out. I'll see you guys later. All right, thanks so much. Okay, Ken. More talking, let's go catch some food. Okay. I only have you, one hand. What do you want to go on, right? Or what, what's the thing that you want to have? I, like, I right? need to go and check out that soy. All right, let's go to the salad. Mm. The salad bar first, right? That sounds like a, a smart, a wise way to approach it. Right. This. And when you see, guys, it is packed and busy. So excuse me, everybody. I'm really sorry. Sorry we're doing this. So, Ken, I know, like me, you eat out a lot. And... In a Korean restaurant, you always have these side dishes, banchan, right? Yep. That's, yeah, that's what it's all about. You know, my favorite is like, obviously I'm a kimchi fan. I like kimchi, but I also like the potato. They have like a, like a, I don't sesame know. Sesame and, it's usually yeah, like yeah, a yeah, sesame yeah. oil. Yeah, I love it. I love it. All right, let's see what Ken does. Um, I'm also right behind him. I see them loading the go. crab on the plate. Oh, and, um, and we are in line. Ken's going for the salad because he does have balance. But I'm, I wish I brought my phone because I need to take pictures of this. This is crazy. Oh no, there are only like four pieces of shrimp left. I'm gonna have a, my faint. Right over here, guys. I need you guys to point in this direction where the crab is and where Chef Jung is placing his is so kimchi. Chef Sean was, uh, was saying that that is a uh, a raw crab, like raw fermented crab and soy sauce. Yeah. Yeah, like, I can handle this. Marinated in soy sauce for four or five days. That's pretty interesting. I like that. Am I going to be tomorrow? Am I going to take it all? Yeah, I mean, don't be afraid. Just get like get like three. Move. I left one. Oh. For those of you watching at home, I know like you guys see us like slaving away out here. Have to eat this buffet, this Korean buffet. The things that we go through, you know, to bring you news. But this is yes, this is really important work. I'm I really do want to stress that that I like to be able to share what I'm eating with other people. I want other people to experience this. I know we say foodie call and we say we're foodies, but I'm just someone who really enjoys food. Mm. The taste of food. I have to have some kimchi as well. I don't know if this is okay. This is mustard leaf. Um, and maybe some traditional kimchi. Well, I'll tell you more about kimchi when we get to our seats, but right now I'm concentrating on not messing everything up. That traditional mung bean jelly salad. Right. I like that. We'll good. be back for that. Yeah. yeah. Did you want to grab one more plate before we go back or you want to just... No, I'm done. I'm, we can do whatever. Do you guys want some sushi? 
We grab some sushi. Some hot sushi in Korean. Oh my gosh, yeah. beef bulgogi. Bo- we gotta be correct. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one. It's called gimbap. Grabbing one of these. Boom. Gimbap. That's gimbap, guys. Not sushi. I'm. Uh, Did you just see me do that? Look at Can't that. Make. Look at that crab. That's the best part too. And then uh, Sh- Chef Sean was saying that you mix that with rice and you know, eat that. Right, I might have to grab, a, grab some rice for myself. All right, let's do that. Um, no, we can also grab some enough for the stone. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put it down and grab more food. Guys, you saw a little bit of the buffet. What, what do you guys like the most here? What, what do you think is the most interesting things for you? You see, I got a salad, traditional salad. I got this uh, doboki. I think that's to, what it's called. To kick this into gear, what's let's next? Go, you want bibimbap, or are we just gonna go straight for the good stuff, like the meat? And the the wraps? I think maybe the wraps would be good. Idea. All right, let's go. Heading over. Sambap Station. Am I supposed to have a plate? A plate? Maybe we are on the wrong side. But, I mean, take a look at this. You can't just put, go right over. This is what Chef was talking about, very spicy sauces. Kind of like the denancy of so this Korea. Is like one of my favorite Korean things, samgyeopsal. It's like you, you mix the meat into the, the leaf. It's like like a, like a, a fresh wrap, you know? So you're going to have to show us how to do this. Where do we get the meat? Well, we need meat. So we're gonna, we should just jump to the... Or we need plates. That's what we need first. Okay. Let's go. Let's start from the other side. I think. I guess. No place on this side. I guess we can do that. We need to grab what we need to do so we can sit down and do our actual mukbang. Uh, you can use a uh, galbi or you can use a bulgogi. Um, so usually, I'll... you you usually use galbi. So I don't know if I'm plating this right, but I'm already here, guys. No turning back. Here you go, Ken. Hi. So this is beef bulgogi. Oh, you said galbi, right? I'm on my way to the Calpy station. Just two seconds. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'll take two. Thank you. All right, man. All right. We're there. I know. You're twisting his arm. Sorry. We'll just get there. We'll remove some. Thank you. Don't you wish you were with us? Um, you don't have to be. You can come back down this week to experience this. Um, I've never been to Korea, by the way. Oh, man. So I'm looking awesome. at this street food like, okay, never seen that before. There's a couple things I just got to get here, like the Korean chicken. You know, like, you can't go wrong with that. I got I to gotta grab some of those pieces. So. I think I will. I will as well. I feel like I've overdone it already. Let's take one. Save some for the others. All right, let's okay, let's, let's make some sandy up some. All right, guys. So this is the sandy up station. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> like Korean people at home are like, oh my god, why is this guy trying to say something in Korean? Um, so usually you take one of these leaves. And then you put the paste inside and you put the meat on top, right, with a bunch of different stuff. So I'm going to grab the uh, beet leaves, right? I don't know what they call it in Korea, but let's grab a couple of them. There's a thing right here. I'm going to be honest, Ken, I ran out of space. Did you? I ran out of space on my plate because I think you missed the Korean fried chicken there. 
that's just the regular fried chicken fried these little things i also had to get some um fried oysters because it's fried oyster oh, i have to there you go. Okay, and I'm, I am too going to get a leaf. I'm going to fold my thing. Get a leaf. I, I grabbed one of these and these. These are like pretty traditional. That one's pretty good. Also, I, I will. I'm going to add some greenery to my plate. So you guys don't think that I'm like just a meathead. You just take one of these different sauces. I'm going to take this one because this looks traditional. This is like gochujang. Hold on a second. So, so that is traditional. Gochujang? I think. I hope it's gochujang, but... Which is kind of a sweet, sweet yeah, you know, space. And it's pretty sticky, you know, like, got a good uh, texture. And then you put the meat on top and you wrap it up and you eat it. So, usually there's pepper too, like little green peppers, And there, there peppers. were in some of the dishes. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have... Putting everything I can. And I, the other sauce is a mixed nut sauce, which Chef Chef uh, Sean was telling us about. And I'm not really sure what that third sauce is. I did get a little bit of it on my plate, so we're, so gonna, we're gonna find out. All right, it's time to eat. That was a lot of exposition, guys. And it's time. It's time to try it out. Where am I sitting? I'm sitting here? Okay. Can I get a close-up? Yeah, of course, of course. So you see what we got here? We got a salad. We got, um, what do you call this uh, thing in Korean? Uh, gimbap? Gimbap? We didn't get any bibimbap. We, it was over there. We didn't check out that station. We got some kimchi. It's just traditional salad. I don't want to feel a little healthy before I just gorge on everything. We got this soup. I believe it's called Bokudong. I don't know if I just slaughtered that pronunciation, but we're throwing that over here. And then we got a bunch of the other meat stuff. So we got Samgyeopsal right here. We got this uh, beet leaf. What is this, kale? It looks like a, a, a purple lettuce. What is this green yeah, thing? Purple like lettuce? Green okay, lettuce. purpley green lettuce thingy. We got some uh, galbi. We got some beef bulgogi. We got some pork bulgogi. And we got that thing right there. I'm really excited to try this. I'm moving on. We're going to do it. Let's do it. We'll do it. I we'll do it. one piece of we'll sugar here for you if you'd like. I'm good. I'm good. Um, right, let me, I don't know where I'm going to stand. Gosh. Should I just hold it and use my hand? Nah, we're good. We're good. All right. Closer? I don't know what we say in Korean to... Oh, we do have a microphone. Thank you, Jason. So I'm going for the shrimp and you're going for? Uh, the pork. Yeah, and I'm going to put it in my little leaf, my samgyeopsal leaf right here and eat it. Okay. So you just wrap it. It's like a little wrap. Like a little healthy wrap. And of course I'm obviously not a good sandwich artist because I can't make a wrap, but there, you just eat it like that. Okay, and I'm going to go for the shrimp. I need a hundred of these shrimps. Shrimps! Very warm. Mm. Dude, that's so good. That's so good. Spicy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Typically, I want to eat rice with everything. But if I was like, for some reason, not eating rice or whatever, I could just live off of I am trying not to eat rice, um, but I might need to get some for this kind of like innard crab thing here. I think and it's good. You're about four months early, I think. <laughs> but it tastes, I can already taste, it's very sweet. It has a very sweet and soy flavor, but like the sea, like very crabby, as it should be. 
um, I know I wish I could just really hold this and show you how how soft and raw that is but it it smells like the sea and it smells like crab and you're gonna have to hold that so I'm gonna try this out I mean, you're going to come here and you're going to try all these different dishes, but this is kind of one of the main stars, as Chef Sean said. And the shrimp, of course. I mean, I got all this meat, but I think I really want to concentrate on this. What's next, Ken? Um, man, I don't know. I'm going to try this thing. I don't know if this is fish or... I don't know what it is, but I'm going to eat it. Man, you know, I got this salad. <laughs> it's like... The salad's just here for decoration. Like, I haven't even touched it at all, but... Okay, so which brings me to this topic. Um, I feel like that's a rookie move. When I go to a buffet, and I kind of made this mistake, so maybe I am I'm a little bit nervous today because I'm so excited. But you go and you try just a little bit of everything. Just a little bit on your plate, a little bit on your plate, a little bit on your plate. Maybe I didn't do it on this side, but I already know this is going to be kind of a knockout. There's no question. But for these other items... And I almost never touch the salad unless um, I know I need it. So you kind of need it, maybe. But oh I yeah, it. yeah. But that's what the the kimchi is for. Yeah, I know. That's a tricky thing about Korean food. It's like, you know, you always gotta have your vegetables, and you're just like, well, let me just get a boatload of kimchi. You know, that's always my problem. But this, I think, this is fish. And this is actually really, really good. I'm gonna get definitely get more of this. I did get a, I did get a piece of that. I'm this enjoying this really good. Mustard kimchi is mustard greens are so delicious. It's still tangy and salty, um, and and just a tiny, tiny bit spicy. But mm. so growing up, you know, we're talking about how Korean food has become a part of our table. Um, my grandmother always made her own kimchi. Oh, really? Yeah, she made her own kimchi. She was a cook, but she would make her own kimchi and have this hot, hot jar in the in the refrigerator all the time. But very, very vinegary. Um, and right now, my wife is going through her own kimchi kick, where every meal she has, she has to have kimchi. She brings it to work. I wonder what her coworkers think of her. Um, she eats it for dinner. We got someone, someone got a bibimbap here. Oh, right there. Look. And look at that, man. Look at that egg. All fresh egg up in here. Yeah, we've got fresh egg in there, and it's got some bulgogi in there, and rice. That's real traditional, like, uh, meal in Korea. Very good. And this, for, I don't know whose plate this is, but they got a full plate there. They got a bunch of stuff. That looks Wait, good. Who, who has this plate? That looks really, really good. You know, I know some of you are just watching, just tuning in, and you're thinking, man, this is so cool that these guys get to live stream uh, a buffet here at, uh, at the Westin. But you know what? You can do the same. From now until the 12th, which is Saturday, come to the Westin Taste um, at the first floor of the, of the Westin, 11.30 to 2.30, and try out the Taste of Hansik, this Korean buffet, award-winning buffet, five years in the running, and this year, do something different. Live stream your experience. Do your own mukbang. Hashtag Westin Guam. Hashtag Taste of Hamsik mukbang. And you could win a weekend getaway here at the Westin. And I, I'm still like on it. Like I'm just like, oh my gosh. I got to tell all my family members to do it. Because I really, like, if you ever slept on a Westin bed, it is like none other. It's just amazing. So, you know, definitely all you got to do is come here. Do a, do a mukbang. Enjoy some good Korean food. Enjoy, uh, you know, the the, the never-ending um, uh, seafood bar. You know, the, the little seafood where they got the crab and, and oysters. And, uh, you know, maybe win yourself a weekend stay here. We've been here before. And we've got, covered it for Foodie Call. And again, I'm going to mention that the seafood grill over there is why I come here. Yeah. Uh, it's absolutely why I come here. Oh, my goodness. So... You know what, we're gonna get back to this. Make sure to do your own mukbang, your own video of you eating and enjoying and telling us what you also enjoy. And, um, and please, let us know what you wanna see also on Foodie Call next time.
Until then, I'm Lacey Francisco. I'm Ken San Nicholas. And you all said, I don't know how to say goodbye in Korean, but bye. I love fried chicken.